In this animation, we're going to subduct some ocean floor underneath the edge of a continent. And as that happens, as you know, you get an ocean trench, but at a certain depth, about 80 miles down in the Earth, the subduction of the plate triggers melting of the mantle, and that magma rises, and a whole series of volcanoes begins to pop up along the edge of the continent parallel to the trench. We call this a continental volcanic arc. Uh, the Andes Mountains are a classic example of such a, such a system. Now another thing we can do is have, instead of ocean floor subducting underneath continent, we could have ocean floor subducting under other ocean floor. In this case, the animation has flipped around, but it doesn't really matter. You can imagine either, either of these in a mirror image. Same process. We're going to subduct the ocean floor underneath this other ocean floor. We're going to generate magma. The magma is going to rise and a whole series of volcanic islands is going to pop up in the ocean parallel to the trench. You see how it's very similar to the continental situation. The only difference is that the volcanoes are popping up out of the ocean parallel to the trench instead of on land parallel to the trench. Okay? So uh, an example of this would be the, uh, the Aleutian Islands, say, or the Philippines, or the Marianas Islands in the Pacific. These are all what we call uh, volcanic island arcs, volcanic island arcs.